Hey, this is Alex Kasinyuk, and in this tutorial I want to get into selecting objects. Now, if you're new to Blender, then the method of selecting objects is going to be a bit of a change. So, in almost every other program, you use the left mouse button to select. However, in Blender, you use the right mouse button. So, basically to transfer your selection from one object, all you have to do is right-click on another object. So, you just right-click, and the selection will go over to the other one. And also, the selection is indicated in uh, this orange line right here. So you know if you have selected an object if there's an orange outline around the object. Anyways, if you actually want to select more than one object, you can actually just hold down shift. So you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then you right click on another object to select it. So you now have two objects selected. And the point, the center point actually goes in between those two objects. So it finds the center point of your entire selection. So you can select three objects if you want, and so on. And you can actually deselect an object by holding down shift, like, you're still holding down shift, and um, all you have to do is right-click on an object that you have selected. So, say, this one. Or all of them if you want. So, I'll just go over that again. To select more than uh, multiple objects, all you have to do is right-click on one, shift, hold down shift, and right-click the others that you want selected. And to deselect an object, you just right-click it again. Still holding down shift, though. So, you can select all of your objects with the shortcut A as well. Or deselect all of your objects. So if you just press A, you can deselect all your objects, and if you press it again, you actually select all of your objects in the scene. And, um, anyway, so that was object selection, and that's in its simplest form. But there's actually other tools that you can use to select objects. So, anyways, let's just go over those. So I'm going to deselect all my objects by pressing A. Now, the first one is actually border select, or box select, or however you want to say it. But... The shortcut's actually B. So you want to press B for border select, and you get these kind of crosshairs across the whole 3D view. These kind of dashed out lines. Now, anyways, once you start to uh, press the left mouse button, you just get this kind of like boxed out dashed line selection. Basically just border selecting. So then you can drag this over the objects you want selected in a kind of box form, and whatever you have inside the box uh, becomes selected. So if you just want to select these two, you would just drag it over these two and um, let go of the left mouse button. So B for border select. Now, uh, there's also brush select or circle select, and the shortcut for that is actually C. So you just press C, and you get this kind of like brush or circle select. Now, you, it's, it's actually kind of a nice tool, because you can, um, you can select objects in a complicated mass. So I have some objects uh, prepared on a different layer here, and there's quite a bit more cubes on this layer. So, we didn't, we, um, if we want to select uh, a certain amount of cubes, like certain cubes, um, we might not want to use the border select, and we might not want to use the basic select, because um, it might take up too much time, or you might not, it might not be as accurate. So anyways, the circle select or brush select can kind of do this for you. And All you have to do is press C and the circle comes up and you just drag across like you were kind of painting in some kind of painting program or something. So you just paint across them and whatever ones you drag over it will select. So it's kind of just a quicker select. So you can select yeah, it's kind of like complicated paths and stuff like that within your object scene. So that is for circle select. And also to get rid of the circle you just have to right click and it gets rid of it. Okay, so another selection tool for complex scenes is actually the lasso tool. So what you want to do is actually hold control and then left click to start. So if you hold holding down control you left click and it starts creating this shape. And you can create whatever kind of shape you want, so 
that's where it would come in handy for um, a whole bunch of objects in a certain mass like this. And you can just draw around the objects that you want to select. Um, so whatever kind of shape you want. And then once you have the objects inside of the lasso, you just let go and you have those objects selected. So it can be kind of nice to use that once in a while. Anyways, so there you have all the selection tools and the shortcuts. Now, like many things in Blender, there's actually shortcuts that transfer to different areas. So, I mean, it's good to know them because they'll work for a lot of different areas as well. <laughs> Thank you.